Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Metro Last Light. This is part 31, I believe, and, well... I've just been killed. And we're gonna retry this again. Um, hope I don't start from the very top. Still not entirely clear on what I need to do. Okay. May have to shoot. Yeah. D oh. Okay, shoot the red bits. Okay, we must stop Corbett, prevent him from taking D6. If we fail, what we've been through after the war and all the all the hardships we braved, surviving all these years, all the sacrifices, every everything would have been in vain. Could it be that the spring that has finally melted the decades old ice on the surface, promising us a new hope of leaving the darkness of the underground and reaching out to the sun again, is also in vain? Could it happen that there won't be anyone left to welcome that spring? I can't believe this. Hope still lives within while the order holds D6, while even a single one of us still draws breath. We will stop Corbett at any cost for our friends and families, for the whole of the Metro, for the spring we've all been waiting for, for the future. Hmm. So, what now? Oh, jeez. Shout, dude.
Okay, advancing with shields. Jesus. нам не удержать это ясно остается взорвать ясно командир двум смертям не бывать а одной не виновать now i know there were never any stores of food or medical supplies in d6 to speak of miller just didn't want to tell us that he kept opening door after door hoping to find what he'd promise what he'd promised. Our chance for salvation, but all he found were containers with viruses, with bacteria, spores of death. The ancestors left us a vast stockpile of tabooed weapons, nothing else. Ah, okay. And we opened Pandora's box. Colbert knew, knew this. He never cared about food or other supplies. Hungry people are easier to control. They always want more. We opened Pandora's box and we going to seal it back or die all of us oh. what the Все спишет. О, кого я вижу? Целый полковник Мельник. Простите, почти целый. Артем, время пришло. А тут кто у нас? А, прыткий молодой человек. Ну-ка, спаситель метро, и куда это мы ползем? Не бойся, ничего не бойся, мой милый. Победил врагов и спас метро. Папа был храбрый. Он был самый храбрый, потому что не боялся неизвестного. Мама, а куда делись черные? Они ушли. 
но обещали вернуться. So, I guess that's the, um, the end of Metro, Last Light. Um... What a really cool game. Um, love the atmosphere in, in these games, and this one certainly had its amount of, uh, atmosphere and just great settings and, and stuff. Um, I actually like the fact that there were more time on the surface this time around because um, you do go on the surface uh, in Metro 2033 but well not as much and I think the environments in this game are just more more interesting I think um, there seems to be more to explore and certainly some cool stuff especially going through the gardens for example with this crazy storm raging while you're trying to find um, the rangers and get to safety um, and also like the improvements they've done to I mean small things like the the ability to wipe your gas mask and stuff um, just that alone is a really nice touch um, if you shoot someone up close your gas mask is painted with blood and you have to wipe it off and stuff like that that's terrific. Um, I'm not sure I really dug the way they implemented how the Dark One actually communicated with, Ar with Artyom, but perhaps that was more like because it was a lot more convenient. I like the fact that in the previous game you see these strange visions um, and some of them you actually you can move around in, and there, these dark ones are trying to tell you something with it, but you're not necessarily, at least always, uh, exactly sure what it is. Whereas in this game, well, eventually the the small dark one just speaks to you, and it's a lot more practical, yes, but not as immersive, and it kind of takes the some of the. Um, Well, I guess you could say excitement, or the fact that you don't know a lot about them. Um, it seems to kind of slightly tear that apart. Um, but um, I still think this is an absolutely fantastic game. and um, So, definitely something I can recommend. And also, they included these common moments in this game as well, and I'm guessing, um, and I don't know, but this this is a guess that that I got the bad ending because I don't think that's really what Artyom wanted um, to kind of set off these bombs uh, at D6 and destroy the facility, and of course, um, a whole lot of rangers and perhaps many innocent lives and stuff like that. Um, so I might have to check out the web or something to see what the requirements are for um, for getting a different ending. Or perhaps I did get the, the good ending and the, the bad ending is just much much worse. I mean, you not only kill yourself and everyone around you, but all the dark ones or something, I know. But um, I guess it was nice to see in the end that Anna made it and we had our son. Um, but kind of sad at the same time knowing that Archim is not around, so... Um, sad ending. Um, so, I'm not sure what to expect of this um, regarding any more games in this series. Um, 
I mean, I certainly hope they'll continue to make Metro games because I love the setting. Um, and it's just an inter interesting world in many ways. And I've, I've been in on uh, regarding this before with uh, other games like Stalker and Metro that, you know, radiation and mutants and, you know, post apocalyptic wastelands and stuff like that is right down my alley. So I, I just want more of this. <laughs> Uh, simply put. So, yeah. Um, I think it would have been cool if they had... I guess these notes... I mean, initially I thought the notes were actually just something, a document lying there. Uh, but in the end, or at least f I think about midway through the game or something, it kind of turns out to be actually be Artem kind of articulating his thoughts about what's happening and stuff. And I would... I mean, I'm, there are other games that kind of do this. For example, um, Dead Space is another, another great example where you can find text locks and stuff. But the fact that you actually have to, you know, you know, stop and read and you can't just continue. If they've made these audio locks that would just kind of play in the background as you went along, um, they would have been... I mean, they would not take you out of the game as much, if you can um, say it that way, um, as these do, because you kind of like just have to either read or play. You can't get both at the same time. And I certainly, at, at some points, you know, right here at the end, for example, I found a note right in the middle, well, not in the middle of battle, but at least while we were still under attack, and it's just like, okay, let me just read this, you know, spend five minutes reading this. Um, but I guess it's um, a way for them to provide some more backstory and, and kind of have Artyom um, explain some of his thoughts on the events that are occurring around him. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a common thing in games, but I wish more games would do it in a in a style of Bioshock or something where you find these locks but they actually just play as audio um, and then you p perhaps could have an option to go into the menu and read it yourself if you miss something I just wanna check it out one more time or something but that's really nitpicking I think at this game um, which again I find to be really excellent I really enjoy playing through it so uh, big kudos to 4A Games for making another excellent title. Um, so, if you're listening, thanks a lot. This has been absolutely fantastic. And please make more Metro games or something similar. Thank you. <laughs> so, I think, um, I think that's it. Um, yeah. Um, not sure what else to add. I um, love playing this game, so I'm definitely going to play through it a number of times again. Um, and I kind of want to go back in right now as well, so <laughs> perhaps I'll do that. Perhaps I just need to let the events of the final sequences sink in and then perhaps go through another time and see if I can actually get a different ending, whether it's the good one or the bad one. But um, we'll see. But um, I hope you enjoyed some of these videos. I certainly enjoyed making them, and of course playing Metro as well, which is always a delight. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be all for now. Um, once again, thank you a lot for watching. Um, take care, and hope to see you all again soon.